Uh, you lose his experience of 50 plus caps. You, you lose his calm. He's incredibly calm on the pitch, and I think he's a good foil for other players who uh, who are under pressure because he very seldom looks like he's under pressure. You lose a defender who is incredibly uh, good at organising other people and himself to to make uh, to make very good decisions and then uh, carry them through with with positive action. Uh, his ability to control us and navigate us around the pitch, particularly with his kicking game. Uh, and the speed of his passing game. So, you know, his experience will leave a hole for us. I think we've got a combined caps with uh, Kirill Mami and, and Luke McGrath of, of about a dozen, um, as compared to about 140 that they have in their halfbacks. Ian Henderson came off the bench and did really well uh, last week. And so uh, between Donica and Dev, we just wanted to, to give him an opportunity to start. And... Uh, it, w it was, uh, you know, a tight call as to how we jumbled that around. But Donica also played well last week. Um, not that Dev played badly, and it was just trying to get that balance. There is very short term still an opportunity to finish second in the championship, which is a massive thing for us. Uh, you know, if if at the start of the season, uh, at, at the start of the championship, we, we could come out with a top two finish, I, th I think. You know, that, that was probably a target for us. So we, we could still attain that despite the disappointment of round one and, and, and last weekend. So there's still a heck of a lot for us to gain, both individually and collectively, that uh, you know, England and their motivations will look after themselves.